Beats? Uh, oh, thank you, Sean. Pardon me, sir. Come right in here, take one. Edward Kuzempel uh, from North Philadelphia. I have a, two bachelor degrees from, uh, from the University of the Arts, one in trombone and one in music education. After I gave my trombone recital, I decided that, uh, if I wanted, what kind of job do I really want to be doing, teaching trombone in, in, in the Board of Ed, for the Board of Ed running a music department, or do I want to play in an orchestra? And I said, I'm going to go for what I really like to do, and that play the flute. You just want it short, right? Yeah, I cut it short. Okay. So what is your um, diagnosis, Mr. Gazempo, if you don't mind me asking? Paranoid schizophrenic and bipolar. Eventually, I started getting catatonic seizures, and I had to go into the hospital. I remember the first time it happened, I, I, I said, oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm insane. I feel, felt like I was insane. And uh, I, I went down to the end of the hall. I said, I'm, on, I'm not going to stay here in, the, in, a, in a ward. I went to open the door, and it was locked, so I panicked. At that time, I was about 26, 26 years old. I'm uh, 65 now. Well, I, for so many years, I was on the street. I was in boarding homes without a flute. 30 years, I, I, I was just floating around in limbo. Every day I, I wake up in the morning and say, you've learned this, this is, this is what you have to do. They experimented with different medications. They finally, they, they, they tried uh, Clozeril, and the seizure stopped. That was, it was finally, they finally found the right medication for me after 30 years. Well, every day is a battle, every day, uh, with Charles Strauss. He wrote a hero's life, and he's a hero of the battlefield. And I say it's exactly what, uh, one, one of the things you have to worry about every day is the, just the battles that go on in your mind. And how long, have, how long have you owned this one? I've owned this one since 1990, 1989. Okay. Okay. It looks like it's well used. It is, it is falling apart. I can still play it, but it's dented. Yeah. You want any more? No, but we gotta get you a real flute, man. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get you something that makes sound out of this end. Yeah. So you wanna check out this one? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's take, see if there's any pictures. So let's see, this one has a B foot. So that's good, and it's open hold. Gizmo key, that's what I want. How long have you been playing flute? Uh, since 1972. Okay. So your next step is to get a nice flute and, get a and good keep flute, working yeah. on your music? Mm -hmm. I was playing as much music as I can. I'm working on my sight reading, and uh, hope maybe I'll be able to audition somewhere. Are you going to go back to school for, for, for uh, flute? Yeah, I'm flutes? trying to get a... Uh, masters in flute at Temple. Uh, my psychotherapist is uh, is uh, trying is going to arrange it for me. What does music do for you in your life? Uh, it fulfills it. Uh, I uh, can express myself. Like Picasso used to uh, put the dates on his paintings so he remember how he was feeling that day. He made his paintings like his diary. That's the way I view the field flute. I'm, maybe one day I'm playing Beethoven, the next day I'm playing Schubert and the way I relate to two, two different personalities when I have to play them. And how does this work? Does you, do you, do you try them out? Um, Can I hold you, it? Can you, you hold order that? it, um, and then you have seven days to try it out and return it if it doesn't work out. 
Does that sound like a good plan would work for you? Sounds good, yeah. Okay. All right, fine. Thank you. So do you want to order it, Miss Willa? Sure. Yeah. This is his his ambition, wow. his dream is to be keep playing his flute. Where the B foot's there, the gizmos there, the open holes, exactly what I want it. tone didn't sound full. And I used to have a full tone before. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I got, had it on get chemotherapy for lymph node cancer on my neck. And ever since the chemotherapy, I've been trying to get my sound back. I can't think I think it's Rachel The red badge of courage. It's, uh, to me, playing a piece of music or taking a, me a medication, experimenting with a medication. You get to be just as brave as if we were on a battlefield. You really have to endure. So I have a piece prepared if I wanted to play a recital. Well, it looks like you have a lot of music in there. So you have like exercise books and things. Right now I'm working on um, Harry Ganesh. Oh, wow. Well, so you're picking tricky pieces. Mm -hmm. And of course the Mozart. Mozart mm -hmm. one. Oh, and good, you have Makara, I like that. Makara, yeah. yeah. All right, you want to play a little yeah. of the Mozart for me? Yeah. <laughs> Can I stop you? Yeah. Can I ask you, can you play without singing? I'm a very, I don't, it's involuntary. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Because I have a feeling, you know, I, actually what you're doing is kind of hard to do. I have trouble singing and playing uh -huh. at the same time. And every once in a while I've done like more mm -hmm. contemporary pieces that call for that. Mm -hmm. And I, I find it a big challenge yeah, to, the, to do the what you're doing. Yeah, the is a big one for that. I'm working yeah. on his mm -hmm. Let's try that D again and just so if you can get, get there you go there you go that's it I will say. so what's happening i think is when you're singing the air slows down mm -hmm. in your throat mm -hmm. and so by the time it gets to the flute mm -hmm. there's you know you're you're using it all to sing instead of there being the air there for the flute. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe before you do that, without the flute, if you just practice just exhaling sort of with your lips in a, a general yeah. sort of flute. Yeah. Yeah. I got it once. Yes. Oh, you had, you had it more than once. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you roll the flute in a little more, it'll be easier. Yes. Mm. Eureka. Mm -hmm. Because... I, the, got a, I got my sound back. Yeah. Now let's play the D, C, B. Yeah, all right, that's yeah. good. My father said, why don't you just retire when you're 65? And I said, no, I want to see if I can get a master's degree in teach or something. People can do remarkable things uh, even late in life. You're the master of your sound now. Mm -hmm. That's good. Excellent.